There is a study that just recently came out. This is big because these are my traditional medical peers in the American Journal of Medicine, September 2019. Big study, cardiovascular and cerebrovascular safety of testosterone replacement therapy among aging men with low testosterone, a cohort study. What did they find? This is breaking all over the news, and this is something that your primary care doctor, I hope he's watching right now, thank you doctor, healthcare providers, that they're gonna see this. What did it show and what happened? What were the methods? And let's discuss the basic aspects of the study. Unfortunately, in this study, there was a 21% uptick in strokes, near strokes, and MI. That's called cerebrovascular accidents, transient ischemic attacks, and myocardial infarction. That's for the healthcare providers. This is compared to non-users. Another thing they came out that is amazing is, yet despite this, overall mortality, which is death of these men that are, they looked at in these studies, was lower than men not on testosterone. So what do we have? What's going on here? This included 15,000 men. This is big. It looked at men from 45 years on testosterone and up. It looked at men that had low T. Again, in the study, in a lot of these studies, the statistical details and discussion are absolutely so important, but we're not going to get into this because none of these studies are going to be perfect. You could tear them to shreds. It's like two attorneys from opposing sides. You could tear it apart the methodologies, cohort study, is it randomized? Is it double-blinded? Is it perspective? No. So there's gonna be inherent problems with this. Let me tell you what's going on with this study and other studies. The truth is, testosterone replacement is here and it will be here in the future. Men want it because they feel so great on it. No one's gonna argue that. Unfortunately, they're leaving traditional medicine and they're going to places like anti-aging facilities and testosterone clinics and the underground. Why? Because they want it, because it makes them feel good. Again, who's getting it? This study right here showed just a cohort of men that have low testosterone. They didn't include men that had hypogonadotropic symptoms or testicular defects. They said that. What does that mean? That means they're not going to include men that have anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism. Again, this is very interesting. This study just said that of this cohort, looking backward, which is not perfect statistically, potentially you're gonna see strokes, heart attacks, okay? But not death, actually protects death. That's what it says. So please, people in the world, men in the world, doctors and healthcare providers, if a man is gonna be on testosterone, we're not gonna talk about does he need it? Of course he needs it. Should he be on it? Should he not be on it? This is man per man. This needs to be dealt with with a healthcare, traditional healthcare provider. If a man is going to be on testosterone, in my opinion, he needs to be protected from what we see here, strokes and heart attacks. Okay, how do you do it? Let's look at the risks without testosterone for strokes and heart attacks for men and women. Blood pressure, cholesterol, sugar, diabetes. Again, the aspects of is testosterone hypercoagulable directly on the blood system, we're gonna leave that out because just like it is for women with estrogen, it's gonna be woman per woman and man per man. That's the truth. The truth of the matter is for some men on testosterone, there will be risks. Just like some men don't get hair loss on testosterone, and some men get a lot of hair loss. Some men don't get gynecomastia on testosterone, some men get a lot of gynecomastia. Some men don't get hypertensive on testosterone, some men do get hypertensive. Some men have abnormalities in lipids, like HDL goes down, LDL goes up on testosterone, even just testosterone and some men do. Some men, in the end, will have sleep apnea and other metabolic problems secondary to using testosterone 
not limited to issues with the red blood cells, and you can see my videos on this. So giving testosterone to a man is super, super complicated. My approach is to do a history and physical. Each man is independent. Look at his independent risks for heart attack and stroke. It's not that complicated. Treat blood pressure. Again, don't give testosterone if he doesn't need it and he doesn't understand the complications and the severity of the future that he's going to enter a world where he may be at risk. Explain that to him. And if some men have no, they have no choice, their testosterone is so low, they're going to have to be on testosterone for life or suffer. This is a personal, medical, complicated issue. Doctor to man, doctor to patient, please. Each risk has to be personalized. We have medicines. I've developed medical protocols for men on androgen to be protected. I have blood pressure medicines and supplements. I have medicines and supplements we know, evidence-based, affect the lipids. We know we can affect prediabetes and diabetes. When you put these together, man per man, you can feel confident that this man is going to be protected and enjoy testosterone for today and for tomorrow. I really hope this helps not only men in the world, but healthcare providers in the world as I am going forward as the first testosterone on earth. And my goal is to bring together men on androgen to legitimate healthcare providers so men may live strong and healthy. Thank you so much. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.